so long since I filmed last vlog so I thought I would take you with me today in here and show you what I do and what I work on and today actually I will be finishing my small sapphire collection that I will be adding to the shop tomorrow so not a lot of time left um, but yeah <laughs> I'm really excited for it and you seem to enjoy vlogs like that so I hope you will enjoy this one too and uh, yeah so let's get started. <laughs> I just went downstairs to pick up um, a parcel, 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 um, from home because I was um, back in home um, in my parents' house for about a month and I had some stuff with me, including some tools, and I couldn't take it with me on the plane because it was one too much two some tools you can't really take on the plane and then i didn't have like the, the main luggage only hand luggage so i sent it because it's very handy it's so much better than taking whole luggage with you is half the price it's cheaper but the thing is that if you don't do it immediately if you don't um order if you don't uh, order this right away uh, because if you did you would have it with you in three days but if you don't it might be a month <laughs> I don't know somehow it just didn't uh, didn't have time to order it and my parents weren't home and you know so finally after a month I finally got my stuff <laughs> most of my clothes my books my notebooks oh so many things that i didn't realize how much i needed them and a couple of things that i really wanted to show you so let's go see hmm. ah yes in case you're wondering i am using pepe tools box for my parcels because it's so good and sturdy that i've sent it already uh three times quite a twice no two times Damn it. <laughs> twice yeah so not only I received my uh, rolling mill in it I already used it for shipping twice and I'm gonna use it again because it's just indestructible <laughs> well done <laughs> there it is so this is what I wanted to show you that is an old jacket uh, made with faux leather, like that. And my parents, my dad, cut the back of this old jacket. And I'm gonna use it as skin for my bench. It didn't cost me anything because it's just some old jacket that they had for years at the attic. It should work. I think it should be good. We'll see. I'll show you. My trousers! These were thrifted. And I really love them. They have like this 80s vibe, which I really like. 80s, 90s. Disco, anyway. <laughs> These are my tools. Some of my tools I took. Ah, there they are. Oh, this little thingy. Okay, so this little thingy, if you don't know, it's called bezel pusher and you use it to uh, set stones um, in the bezel a bezel setting so you use it to push the walls of the bezel to set the stone in and for some reason i left it in poland i don't know i thought i wouldn't be like they would throw it away uh, as a security checkout i don't know why because anyway so 
this is my old one and it was very cheap actually when I got it so I got it as a part of the set with burnisher and I think a prong pusher uh, which is very similar to this one it's just the end uh, is slightly different because I left it and I needed one I had to buy a new one and the one I bought this time was twice the price of this one but now I know why so this is the difference between them this one is larger as you can see and I must say it's more comfortable to hold this is longer this bit but the best part that actually made a huge difference for me and would probably for you is the end here which is slightly rounded and it's just so much easier to set with this one because you can rock it a little bit you're not leaving so many marks like I did with this one and I don't know it's just so much easier to set stones with this one so I will link it um, in the description box below so you can check it out it was about seven between seven and eight pounds when this set was about three pounds altogether so it's more pricey but you're paying for quality and you're paying for easy job so I would definitely recommend it this is still too low okay I don't know if you remember uh, me complaining about this cheap silver line hammer in the past that I got for about three pounds on Amazon I must say it's a necessary tool right now because this is the only hammer I can use to hammer my discs for like a disc necklace that I'm using I tried the other ones no they they just don't work this one is very heavy so it has the weight probably that's needed to finish this job and also it's just the way it's finished maybe anyway I'm glad I didn't throw it out because I really need it oh and this <laughs> cute little hammer I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet especially that the handle is kind of moving around but it's just so cute I had to take it also from my dad so thank you so much and I'm yeah I'm gonna try experiment with it see what it can do and if it can't do much, then I'm, use it, then I'm gonna use it as a decoration. I really like old tools. I do. <laughs> and this is the part of the collection I'm working on. So, all sapphires, all sterling silver. This is the necklace that's almost finished. I just need to get a chain for it. It's a nice collection of beautiful pink sapphires. I love it. I don't know how I'm gonna part with this one. <laughs> and then there are two statement um, pendants like this. This is a blue sapphire with butterflies and this is pink sapphire with flowers. And I think there's a couple of butterflies here too. And they are quite a uh, statement, as you can see, quite large. Um, and then there's two pairs of earrings like this with sapphire, uh, pink sapphire and blue one. I just need to finish um, hooks for them. Although I'm still trying to think if maybe studs will be better. But these were on like ready-made hooks for like a trial and it looked really nice. So I think I'm gonna just make hooks for them. So these are finished, almost, well, almost finished. I'm just gonna need to clean and finish the bezels because I haven't yet. And I really want them to look perfect. And then here I have these two pairs of um, pink and blue sapphires and they will be turned into small stud earrings. And then over here, oh, it's hard to show, uh, there we go, over here I have three um, sapphire necklaces in progress.
Hi, so I have soldered bezels onto their back plates for all three necklaces and that's how it looks like. And now I am going to solder the details on them because each will be different. And this one um, will have, so this is for the pink sapphire and it will have like a leafy um, ref <laughs> around it. So I want to attach it on top here. And yeah, I think for this, I'm gonna actually use solder paste um, it's just because the joints are tiny and it seems to me that it will be easier for me to add the paste in the spots where the leaves are touching the back plate so that should be good enough um yeah so i'm gonna do that now As you can see, uh, I didn't put my flame uh, directly on on the metal because I didn't want to melt it, I didn't want to destroy it, I didn't want to have too much of fire scale. So basically I didn't want to overheat it. So instead I uh, directed my flame around it and it was absolutely enough. If not even once I had to put my flame directly on the metal. Heating around created enough temperature around here for solder to flow and nothing got destroyed. So this is really good and I'm using um, charcoal block at the moment which reflects, I think it's the best one um, that reflects the heat. This one, honeycomb block, <laughs> is also really good and I heard it also reflects the heat very nicely. I haven't tried it yet because I just really enjoy this one <laughs> and I just made uh, myself a little basket like this out of just binding wire to lift it up a little bit so there's some space between metal and the charcoal block so yeah that was really good and I'm happy with it let's um, put it in the quenching bowl and now into the pickle
just now I was um, sanding um, the lower side of my bezel because I want to make sure that it fits nice and flush with the back plate so there are no gaps, no lights coming uh, through there. I want it to be nice and even so when the solder uh, flows around it will be evenly soldered to the back plate. So I'm gonna go through all of these little bezels now to do the same thing and then I'm gonna solder them onto the silver sheet then I will cut them and clean them and start preparing them for little earrings. <laughs> You can do it either by sanding in one direction or you could do the figure eight to have a good effect. I'm gonna start by sanding in one direction. Oh, and for that I'm currently using 240 bathing stick. I find it abrasive enough but not too abrasive so I don't have the, so the edges aren't too rough. Still gap. Okay. no solder nothing nothing just clean clean silver so yeah that's what I'm doing now um, it's quite easy with these attachments for pendant motor or Dremel or for dom depending on which one you have they remove excess solder and clean and sand the edges very nicely. Oops, I'm gonna need to find that. <laughs> so these are after the white coarse one. I'm gonna go through this with the black one now and then I am probably gonna solder uh, ear posts on because these aren't uh, ear posts at the moment, just bezel cups. <laughs>
just finished um, last pieces of the collection and I'm now about to start photographing them. I still have a few hours before shop update so I have to speed it up a little bit but yeah I'll show you how I photograph jewelry at the moment and I'm really glad because there's not a lot of sun today but it's a bright day so there's a lot of clouds and it actually works like a natural shadow box which is brilliant for photography if you want to take photos in the daylight. So yeah, come with me and I'll show you how I do it. So I'm going to use this table for photos. It's just by the window and I have enough light here. And recently I've been using this uh, little display for a, like backdrop or like, you know, for background. And I recently also purchased this little plate in IKEA. It's actually for candles, but I thought it would look nice in photos as a prop so i'm gonna try to use it today and see how that looks but yeah these are all the jewels now oh i just need to attach chains for these little pendants i finished them today pink sapphire and yellow sapphire and also this little collection of pink sapphires and these earrings i'm actually really happy with them and i think i'm gonna make more pairs for christmas because they're small and classy but at the same time very very pretty and i have tiny little studs like these ones for anyone who would like just a simple simple stone without any additional details right. and earrings here right okay let me just set it up and i'll start taking photos okay hi so i have a display for necklaces here I got it on Amazon and it was very inexpensive. Then you know this background probably from my um, other how I take photos video. I also use it as a background. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper that I purchased in a craft shop. Um, then the plate that I showed you and these cards. These are actually by Imi from Imi Designs and she makes really nice posters and cards so go check her out. I will link her in the description box below. But I have these like two cards and a book mark uh, which I just put on a piece of paper and use it as a background for my photos. And then I have some crystals here. These are amethyst and I have some more here so I'm gonna try and use them as well. I'll send them a hard cupboard as a gift and hope that you take it into her side. So I finished shooting with different props, mostly crystals and backgrounds and now I'm gonna take a few photos of me wearing the jewelry because it's actually quite necessary to, you know, for people to see how large these are actually in real life and also like I mentioned in my previous video uh, but I thought like some of you might not have seen it I shoot my jewelry photos with 50 millimeters Canon lens this is the cheaper one it's I think it's 1.f f <laughs> it's 1. Point, yeah 1.8 uh, there's also 1.4 which is definitely better but it's a little bit more expensive so this is actually very good budget uh, lens excellent for product photography and portraits um, so yeah I'm gonna take photos of me now also using this lens okay so I changed into my um, jewelry photo shoot uh, top which is perfect for <laughs> displaying jewelry. I fixed my hair, my makeup and now I'm gonna take some photos. 
I finished with photos so and I've exported them onto my computer so now I will have to edit them a little bit I still want to uh, stay true to colors and everything um, but I still want to edit them a little bit to tweak uh, the lightning and shadows you know contrast maybe and then I will need to write finish writing um, descriptions for uh, their listings in the shop and I will have to upload it and finish the pricing. I think that's all, I think. editing um, photos and I am now uploading them onto separate listings on Etsy. It takes a little while because my internet isn't the fastest one <laughs> so it might be a little while but it's past 5 p.m. in the afternoon and I still have about two and a half hours before shop update and I consider this pretty good timing, um, especially because I was, I think, late last time when I was uploading things onto the shop. So I really, really wanted to be on time this time. Um, but my goal <laughs> would be to be ready with everything day or even a couple of days before a release date. So I'm <laughs> hoping I will get into routine with this. The more I do it, the better it's gonna be. And even today I could feel a little bit more of a flow with everything. So yeah, I am gonna make myself a cup of tea and probably put the heating on because it got a bit cold now. But yeah, I've been listening to music on Spotify, some podcasts, but usually when I'm writing descriptions, I need it to be quiet quieter <laughs> more quiet i hope you enjoyed this vlog i i think i might try this format of vlogging throughout the week and then editing it into one vlog like weekly vlog video we'll see if that would work for me other than that i'm definitely going to keep posting vlogs because i really like making them and they're definitely more personal and it's a chance for you to peek inside this business of mine. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's something interesting for you that I am not realizing would be worth sharing. So also let me know. And yeah, have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And stay tuned because there's more videos coming. Yeah. <laughs>